guys welcome to my youtube channel today our topic is about famous clothing brand its name is prada if you are new so don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon let's start the video prada is an italian luxury fashion house founded in 1913 by mario prada it specializes in leather handbags travel accessories shoes ready to wear and other fashion accessories prada licenses its name and branding to luxury tika for eyewear and l'oreal for fragrances the company was started in 1913 by mario prada and his brother martino as a leather goods shop ferratelli prada in milan italy Initially, the shop sold animal goods and imported English steamer trunks and handbags. Mario Prada did not believe that women should have a role in business, and so he prevented female family members from entering his company. Ironically, Mario's sons had no interest in the business, so it was Mario's daughter, Luisa, who succeeded Mario. and ran prada for almost 20 years luisa's daughter miokia prada joined the company in 1970 eventually taking over from luisa in 1978 miokia began making waterproof backpacks out of pocono a nylon fabric she met patrizio bertelli in 1977 an italian who had begun his own leather goods business at the age of 24 and he joined the company soon after he advised miokia on company business which he she followed it was his device to discontinue importing english goods and to change the existing luggage development Miosia inherited the company in 1978 by which time sales were up to US 4 lakh 50000 dollar with Bertelli alongside her as business manager Miokia was allowed time to implement her creativity in the company's designs she would go on to incorporate her ideas into the house of Prada that would change it She released her first set of backpacks and totes in 1979. They were made out of a tough military speed bag lining that her grandfather had used as cuffs for steamer trunks. Initial success was not instant, as they were hard to sell due to the lack of adver- advertising and high prices. But the lines would go on to become her first commercial hit. Next, Miokia and Bertelli sought out wholesale accounts for the bags in upscale department stores and boutiques worldwide. In 1983, Prada opened a second boutique in the center of the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele in Milan's shopping heart. On the height of the previous historic London house emporium, run by the Elias Bellini from 1870 to the 1960s, reminiscent of the original shop but with a sleek and modern contrast to it. The next big release was a nylon tote. That same year, the house of Prada began expansion across continental Europe and the United States by opening locations in prominent shopping districts within. Florence, Paris, Madrid, and New York City. A show line was also released in 1984. In 1985, Miokia released the classic Prada handbag that became an overnight sensation. Although practical and sturdy, its sleek lines and craftsmanship had a luxury that has become the Prada signature. In nineteen nineties, Prada originality made it one of the most influ- 
influential fashion houses and the brand became a premium status symbol in the 1990s sales were reported at 70 billion or 31.7 billion dollar in 1998 patrizio de marco took charge of the growing business in the united states after working for a house in asia he was successful in having the prada bags prominently displayed in department stores so that they could become a hit with fashion editors